Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Skylar, if you're new here, welcome. So it's story time Saturday today, and today we have a story time about me getting laced with fentanyl my first week after moving to LA. Now I feel like the past few story times on my channel have all been drug related. I have walking in on an orgy story time. I posted that because it reminded me of EDC and I didn't get to go to EDC. And then I also posted a video called I Jedi Flipped barefoot or i jedi flipped for the first time and ended up raving barefoot story time um but don't get me twisted not all my stories are going to be about drugs just lately i feel like it's been a relevant topic and i also have a video coming out on monday that's going to be about all my history of drug use and how it affects your mental health and kind of like just an update on what i've been doing lately and how i plan to you know Start cleaning up my act a little bit but so all right guys we're gonna get into the story time about me getting laced with fentanyl if you want to watch the story time about me getting laced with meth at the first time in my coke you can watch that right here but yeah let's get on into the video this story time is a great example on why people think i'm naive and why people are <laughs> are scared from me but i'm just a really trusting person and yeah so anyways i moved to la and when i first started staying here like two days before i moved into my apartment i was staying at this hotel six now one of the days that i was walking i don't remember if i was walking to or from around this area i remember someone walking up to me and we'll name this person we got to come up with a really good name for the person that laced me oh we'll call him fenty okay fenty who laced me with fentanyl. This guy named Fenty asked for my Instagram. Now, unless someone's really weird, I'm not rude, I don't say no, you can't have my Instagram because I mean, my Instagram's clout. I got my OnlyFans in my bio, I got my YouTube. If they don't buy my OnlyFans, they can subscribe to the tube, they can follow like the Instagram pictures, whatever. I give out my Instagram and I don't think anything of it, right? So I go back, whatever. During this time, I remember he kept calling me like on Instagram, like hitting me up. And this person was like 19 years old and they were followed by one of my friends. So I remember when they first followed me, I like considered whether I wanted to follow them back or not. And I remember like looking at their page and I was like, I guess they're followed by my friend. And I like went to not I was gonna leave them on unfollowed. But then I went back and I, re I followed them because I wanted to be nice. I was like, okay, they know one of my friends. Why am I being a press, like a prissy bitch about who I follow? Like, I just moved here. Like, who am I? Like, no. So, but yes. <laughs> no, be careful who you follow. And honestly, start fucking just handing out your cash app. And if they really want your Instagram, then you can give it to them for 15 more dollars. You know, like charge them for, you know. But anyways, but I still give out my Instagram. So I'll shut the fuck up. But anyways, uh, he kept calling me, messaged me to hang out while I was in the hotel room. Not like back to back, but you know, like call me once, call me the, like text in the morning, call me another time, whatever. At one point in this two or three days that I was there, I was like, okay, fuck it. Like I'll go smoke a blunt. I'll see what's up. Assuming that if they ask me like to show that they're going to have weed too. That they're going to have weed too. And so I remember going and smoking one blunt with the, with this Fenty person. And I come into their house and I remember <laughs> Fenty, I walk into Fenty's house, bro. And he's got, <laughs> he's got, he's got a mattress on the floor, no shade in the living room. And then there's the kitchen and it's like dark, dirty carpet, like dirty carpet and there's shoes everywhere. And like, I'm not on the judge, but whatever. And I don't even see, I'm a very oblivious person. I don't care, I'm not into him like that. So I don't even see that there's girl clothes because I'm not thinking of it as like, like this is going to be like that kind of thing. Like I'm just thinking of it as like, this might be a new homie. If he's chill, we're going to smoke a blunt. I thought you were going to match, bitch. But apparently you're not even matching. So I really tried to get, I got out there quickly the first time we hung out, right? So uh, I remember he's like, oh yeah, by the way, like, um, like my I do I my girlfriend lives with me and then he basically like said something along the lines of oh yeah she cheated on me though like blah 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 um 
bullshit, whatever. And then he showed me one of his Balenciaga shoes that he probably robbed from somebody and said that she like ripped it. And I was like, oh, like that sucks. And I was like, where's your weed? Like, are you gonna are you gonna roll up? He didn't even have weed. So I roll up blunt. He plays me his really really crappy music, and that was that. And I remember like him he him telling me that he would um, risk like like cheating on his girlfriend from me. And I remember being like, hey, that's funny. And I was like, I left like shortly after that, whatever. Now with that weird situation already happening, you know, it wasn't that weird because he well, he didn't like try to make a move or anything. He was just kind of making comments. So I kind of looked past it as like, like whatever, bro. Like you kind of skied, like I'll, I'll be chill with you, but like, I'll be your homegirl, but you, you never getting out of the friend zone type shit. If you even going to be a friend, I still, didn't know if he was going to be my friend yet. All I knew was he was, knew somebody that I knew. Smoked one blunt with them, whatever. It was whatever, you know? So I continued living my life, doing my own thing. Now this person lives around my area and he came up to me several times like while I was walking to different like areas. And I remember two times in a row he, he came up to me and I was kind of rude. And I remember like I was rude two times in a row. Like one time I was just in a rush and then the next time I was like, like, hell, I even told him, I was like, bro, I was like, I'm already pissed off about something. Unless you got a blunt to bring behind me, do not ask me to hang out with you. And I kept walking all fast, right? So then, this day that I got laced, I'm walking to my Chase Bank. I'm about to go get a, a yoga mat that I finally just got today. I'm finally about to start doing yoga again. I'm walking to Chase. I'm going to go to Target afterwards to get a yoga mat. I'm feeling real lively this day. I remember I was feeling fresh, bro. I was feeling great. And shortly after, I'm not even that far from my house. I'm on my way to the to the bank. And I see Fenty. Now, just the day before, I was kind of rude to Fenty, you know. I didn't really have no reason to be that bitchy to him. Like, you know, we chilled. He made a comment. Like, but, like, guys are stupid. Like, he, like you know, like, whatever. He didn't, it's not like he tried anything. And it's not like, whatever. He took my, he, he took my rejection politely. And he still walked me. A block away like so like I kind of felt bad for how rude I had been to him so this time around walking by he's like oh hey what's up and I'm like oh hi you know like let me say hi and he's doing something on his car I don't know what he's doing I thought it was his friend right but I guess he's probably selling deadly drugs to this person but I don't even notice I'm assuming his friend I'm a very oblivious person I'm not gonna lie and so he asked me do you do white girl like Hannah Montana and I was like, what? And he was like, do you, do you like Coke? And I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, like I'll do it sometimes. I'm like, like I like I don't buy it like, if it's for free. And he's like, do you want some? And I was like, for free? And he's like, well, yeah, I'll give you a line. And I was like, I mean, I guess. Like I was thinking, okay, I'll do a line and then I'll just go be productive. I don't have headphones. So I was thinking, okay, I don't even have headphones while I'm walking right now because I lost my AirPods. Maybe I will just like, um, talk on the phone no more to my friends if anything like if I'm high on coke like I'll be talking on the phone like whatever I thought okay I'm gonna do this line go to Target have a great day now he wanted to give me the line like outside like just like go off in a corner somewhere and I'm sure people do that all the time actually I see people shooting up with their titty out like I probably could have gotten away with it but me you know I'm like oh no I don't want anybody to see and this is where I went wrong I really should have just done the fucking line and stumbled my way over home and like and then started dying there and like figured out what happened but or who knows if i would even got laced if i would have just did it outside i don't know if he was going to give me the same thing when i did it inside versus if i did it outside i don't know but i was the one that was like i don't really feel like doing it outside in public that's kind of weird like we're literally my apartment's right across the street right there like we can just go upstairs and do it really quickly so we go upstairs really quickly i remember he walks in i'm like oh i'm sorry my place isn't furnished and he's like huh, you saw my place like i'm not one to judge in my head i'm like yeah i saw your place motherfucker like yeah you live with you live with the bitch on the fucking floor on a dirty ass floor y'all got shit thrown yeah i see where you live motherfucker um but yeah i was like okay yeah you're right he gets out this line and i try to make the line into two but it's really small and i tell him like I was contemplating just doing like the tiny one, but I told him like, hey, like 
I was gonna, I was just trying to make this into two, but it only is one. Like, do you want to pour yourself some more? And he's like, oh no, I'm good. Like, you can just do the full thing. It's just for you. And that's where I should have been like, no, like, let's get get you another line. Like, let's do it together. But I didn't. And again, this person is younger than me, so I was thinking like, I don't know why that matters. Like, someone being younger than me. I have an ex boyfriend who's a gangster, and like, he, like, you know. He killed people at a young age. He did shitty shit at a young age. So I'm like, I don't know why in my head I think, oh, this guy's 19. He's not going to hurt me. But I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't think anything of it. I do the line. Now, usually when you do a line of coke, for anyone who hasn't done coke before, usually when you do a line of coke, if you start feeling anything within the three minutes, it's a drip. And then you will start getting a drip down your throat. Now, within three minutes, I did not start getting a drip down my throat. Instead, within three minutes, I go from like standing by my counter bar to like, oh, like something's off. Like, I was like, I'm starting to feel like a little something, but it was like a little anxious. Like I was like, this isn't like whatever I'm starting to feel is like a little like, like I, don't, I gotta sit down. So I sat down and within like a couple minutes of me, not even a couple minutes, but this all happened so fast. I sat down. And within a couple of seconds of sticking, sitting down, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm starting to feel it. Like, I think I'm trying to talk. Because when you, when you are on coke, you're very talkative. You're able to just, like, so I'm thinking to myself, am I feeling it? Am I trying to, like, have a conversation right now? Like, maybe I'm getting talkative. But then I think to myself, wait. I was like, I was like, I can't, I'm trying to figure out how to talk. Like, Wait, hold up. I was like, as I stood up, I was like, I got to stand up. I got to walk around. And as soon as I stood up, I like fell to the floor and I stood up again and I like fell to the floor. I stood up and I was like, I, uh, whoa. And he's like, yeah, you should probably sit on your bed. And so I, I'm like, okay, I sit on my bed. And then it like literally goes blank. And I, ooh. I still don't know all of what happened, but I'll tell you all of what I know and all of what happened afterwards. So it goes like kind of blank, like it literally goes blank. I remember him saying like, you need to sit on your bed. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And then the next thing I know is I got triggered by a, like a words he said. And I didn't even realize that this until the next day when I was like thinking of everything that I remembered Next day, I was like, like just putting out the, all the pieces to my mind, and I realized that this is what triggered me to like. They gave me like one of my like little memories, is I woke up, and well, either woke up or came back to consciousness. I don't fucking know. This is, he's kissing. He says, "You're a really good kisser." Now, someone saying that exact words, "You're a really good kisser," only happened to me one time and so like if you watch my story time i got my first time having sex like getting raped for the first time turned me on gay because i used to be lesbian if you watch that story time you'll know like my first time having sex was rape afterwards i kind of like lost myself i started partying i went through like a little hoe phase and before i ever started doing drugs i started drinking a lot and um when i was like raped for the first time i was drinking but it wasn't like blackout nothing like that but um I had started like drinking a lot and putting myself basically into positions that were similar or like, you know, I just didn't care anymore as much, but I did care, like, you know, so I remember one of the times being, I was like so drunk. I remember my friend, I wanted uh, to go to the bathroom with me and she's like, no, nah, I'm going to stay here, whatever. I go to the bathroom and one of the guys that I had been like, like getting at me like the whole time. I remember he wanted to like walk outside and whatever and I don't remember much but then I remember being in the car and I remember him saying like you're a really good kisser and it woke me up and so just those words before I was like oh fuck I was like so I remember hearing those words and then it's also blurry again like I it's a blur like I don't remember nothing and then one I do the, not know how I left out but he tried to show me his dick and I didn't small, want to like, see small it small memories I have is tells me like he'll be right back okay and i'm like okay and but or uh, and he tells me or i don't know if he says or he'll be right back during this time because like i said i barely remember this day this day i don't know if it's actually phenanol ketamine or rufinol because and i don't know what i'll name the title but 
because it literally everything I felt, I want you guys to leave me a comment below by the end of this story time, what exactly you think it was, because nothing came in my drug test, not even Coke. So one of the things, the next things I remember is he told me, he like went somewhere really quick, he told me I had to change my clothes into something sexy. And I remember standing there and I remember being like, like myself again for a second. And I was thinking, wait a second, why am I changing into something sexy? Like, why am I listening? And then I was like, okay. So I remember putting a bodysuit on underneath basketball shorts so that he couldn't t like touch me or like try to fuck me or anything. So I remember purposely putting that on to keep myself safe. So, but I, it's all a blur. So I remember feeling uncomfortable. I remember being kissed, but I still was somewhat like, for some reason I hadn't just told him to get the fuck out. I don't know. So I remember putting that on, still a blur. The next thing I know is I'm telling him, like, I don't know what happened to make me like, really, like but I was like, bro, it must've been sometime after I changed, but I don't know. Uh, the next thing I know I'm freaking out on him. I'm like, like, what am I on? Like, this is not Coke. Like, this is not Coke. I know I've done Coke so many times because at first I was like, okay, maybe it's Coke. Maybe I'm just like light. I'm, I'm just lighter than I used to be. Maybe it's just because I'm an eight. But then once I realized that all this shit was like happening, that's probably when I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why am I coming back and forth between like, like remembering shit and like, like, what the fuck am I on? And so I would go to the bathroom and I remember like I was screaming in the bathroom. And, but the thing is, I wouldn't even remember this until the next day. And I'll tell you like the sequence. I would go into the bathroom. I was screaming in the bathroom. And I think that's when he left, right? And took my fucking $20 that I had. Thank you, bitch. You broke ass bitch. Um, you're lucky I don't have a good memory. Because if I knew you were lit, where you lived, I'd come and steal all your fucking nasty ass, stolen ass, designer ass clothes all over your nasty ass, dirty ass, carpeted fucking floors, bitch. Um, and I'll tell your girlfriend that you fucking, ew, ew, that you fucking laced me with some bullshit and tried to fuck me. And hopefully. You didn't, but I mean, I checked myself and I'm 99, 95% sure. Like, I'm fine unless, like, I was really fucking unconscious. But, like, I mean, I'm sure if I woke up from those words and, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know. But you also never know, so whatever. It, he knows what he did, so. <sighs> Anyways, I... The next thing after that, and I'll tell you, because I sent him the whole text. This Actually, I'll tell you this part right now. The reason why I, I know now, like I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything, is because he's, he made me remember the bathroom thing. Because I woke, when I like woke up, I only remembered, well, I didn't remember the kissing part until like it had jogged my memory the next day. And then um, the next day, I blew up on him. I was like, you better not have fucking tried anything while I'm fucking unconscious. Like, blah, blah, I was going off. And he told me, no, that's why I left. Uh, you were freaking out. Like, blah, blah, blah. Um, I wasn't going to deal with that. And then I did remember, I was like, oh, yeah, I did go into the bathroom. So maybe that was why. But then, like, also it was confusing because when I woke up from the nap, like, at first it was weird because... When I woke up from the nap, I was really confused. Like I thought he was coming back with orange juice. That's what my first thought was when I woke up from the nap. But then I had started like remembering that like I got late. Like it was weird. Like I really did not know what was going on. And then I looked into the mirror and I remembered that like he laced me. And then I remembered that he left and I saw my $20 was gone. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like I literally don't know what the fuck is going on. And then I look into the mirror and one of my eyes is in the the opposite fucking direction and i was freaking out i thought my eye was gonna be stuck like that forever i get on my like meet me live stream link down below i get on my meet me live stream and i'm like freaking out i'm like guys my eye is in is in one corner of my eye i was like what if it stays like that forever i'm freaking the fuck out and they're like there's nothing wrong with your eye half of them are making fun of me honestly going on live stream while i was on that was probably not the best thing it made it worse uh, but I was freaking out I was like oh my god I was like this is literally stuck like this my eye is stuck like this forever I was going off and I went um I texted my neighbor Jennifer I was like hey like I need to come 
and I need to go to the hospital. She had me come to her place because they have a friend who's an EMT. So he like looked me over and made sure I was okay. And he was like asking me questions and he's like, yeah, she needs to go to the hospital and definitely get checked to see like what she's on. And like, like my heart was pounding and like, I felt like I couldn't breathe fully. Like I felt like I couldn't like, like actually breathe. Like it felt like I, I was so scared. Uh, um, and so then the ambulance came, um, they took me I was like really tired too because like I told you I had slept the whole day like and when I, I was really tired really in and out of it and then we get to the hospital this fucking hospital by the way is so shitty that I almost almost caught another charge for fighting a security guard but I stopped myself but there was a whole fight in the rain and that's a whole nother story time for itself but the next day, you know, my drug test didn't come back with anything. It didn't have Rufinol, it didn't have ketamine, and it did not have fentanyl. So, or Coke. Literally only THC. Only THC. So that was really cool. Um, I actually literally wanted to hang up a flyer. Well, I posted on my like Instagram story about it. One of my stories got posted for selling illegal goods, and I was like, and one of them got deleted for bullying and harassment. So I was like, okay, I literally can't even post. Like, I wanted to keep a flyer, and I'll show the flyer I made right here, but I'll have to blur out his face, unfortunately. Actually, do I? Do I? No, I don't. Cause it's YouTube. It's YouTube. What's he gonna do? Sue me? Bitch, what are you gonna sue me with? You probably got a whole track record. Nah, you, mm -hmm. So I will leave the picture up here. I don't wanna post it on my Instagram story and keep it there just cause I don't want my account to get taken. I was this close to printing out this flyer and hanging it up all around Hollywood to warn people around this motherfucker. Cause he literally hangs around here trying to fucking get money and kill people. Like literally, he don't care. Like, he really doesn't care. So I will keep this picture right here. And I almost hung it up around post all over LA, but then the police officers, well, when I called them to like see if I could do anything about pressing charges against him, just because at one, I willingly took coke, even though I got laced and it was not supposed to be what potentially deadly drug, since I, I willingly took it and since nothing showed up in my drug test, there's nothing, and I don't have his real name, there's nothing that they can do about it. So I'm like, wow. But I was like, well, since there's nothing they can do about it and they can't prove it, when I looked up if I could like, I was like, maybe I shouldn't put him all over like posters just because what if I get in trouble for like defamation of someone's character or, or like, I don't know what I can get in trouble for for doing that. So I was like, let me not, let me not do that. <laughs> so I really wanted to, I really wanted to. Would leave me a comment. Do you think I would get in trouble for posting flyers of someone who laced me and almost killed me all over town and may and tried to rape me? Maybe did, but very, very unlikely and hopefully didn't or else like whatever. But it's also like, fuck it. At this point, I've been raped so many times. Like whatever. It is really honestly, it's a normal part of life that us girls have to deal with at this point, huh? But no, I don't think he did. But anyways, would I get in trouble for posting that all around town? a city or yes or no leave it down in the comments i want to know and if the majority says that i won't get in trouble i'm gonna do it but yeah i definitely want to make a separate story time about how i fought a drill sergeant at the burbank hospital but i think that that would be best to just save it for like a whole nother story time even though i might have to repeat parts of this in it i feel like it'll just be funny um so thank you guys so much for watching also, please do not take drugs from strangers without testing it. It doesn't matter if the kid is 19 and doesn't look like he fucking can hurt anybody because he's a scrawny, nasty looking bitch. Like he probably, he, even though he's not doing the line of coke with you, he's probably doing crack on the daily. He just don't wanna do that because he knows it's gonna kill him. Do not take drugs from any strangers without testing. There's hella cheap testing kits online. You can find them anywhere. I don't have any yet, but um, right now I have a few consistent, like good plugs, but also, I'm at, like I mentioned in my new video coming up on Monday, it's all, it's gonna be all about drug use, my, my drug use, my past drug use, and how it affects mental health and like currently now. But as I said, like right now, I'm really trying to lay off the drugs. I kind of moved to LA and did like a lot in a month, like, and I'm, I'm just trying to like cool on that. So, 
but right now I do have reliable plugs. So if I do need anything or any of my friends need something and I'm gonna get it, I can go to one of them or I will trust like a friends if I know that they are obviously doing it and they've done it before from someone they trust. But I will never just willingly do a line that's handed to me by somebody who I do not know. And if that person who, and who is not with somebody that I know. So definitely do not ever want to get laced with whatever that was again. And if it wasn't fentanyl, I don't want to get laced with the real fentanyl because whatever that was, was bad enough. But please leave me a comment too if, with everything I told you on how I felt because the whole next day, the whole next day I was dead, dead. Honestly, the whole next like two days, the first day I literally could barely move still and then the next day after that I was still drained. So leave a comment down below what drug you think I was laced with, whether it's fentanyl, ketamine, rufinol, or another drug. Leave it down below what your opinion is. Well, all right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe because it really does mean the world to me. And also turn on post notifications if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. With all that being said, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.